Man, we have some talented people in this country. Go Rudy, man. There's a Friday dance if you ever saw one. But listen, right now we're turning our attention to some parenting. And it's the second week of the school holidays already. I can't believe how the time has been flying. And you know what? When it comes to this time of the year, I think a lot of parents turn to technology, screen time, to you know let their kids veg out, you know, just to relax. But is that a good idea or should you be doing something else over the holidays? So we've invited certified parent coach Laura Markovitz with us in studio to talk about just that. Laura, lovely to have you in studio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good to be here. This is cool, man. So, uh, you know what? It's okay, I guess, you know, to let your kids watch some TV or play some games. But the veg out part, that is what I think I want to address here. Um, firstly, how would you classify veg out? And is it really a good idea? Yeah, so I think, I mean, you know, let's not kid. We all like a little bit of vegging out from time to time. So as I wouldn't a, yeah, As a working man, yes. Absolutely. So I think there's a place for it. But I think what we've got to strive for is a bit more of a balanced approach to it. Yeah. Um, you know, if our kids are sitting on a screen all day long, we have to think about, well, what are they actually missing out on while they're on a screen all day long? And I always think that's an important thing for us as parents to be thinking about. So yeah. if they're sitting all day long watching TV uh, on a cell phone or on an iPad, whatever device they're on, they're missing out on socializing, they're missing out on emotional, physical development as well that happens when we're out there playing. So we really do need to apply our minds yeah. and think about how we're using screen time. So, so what are the things that parents should take into account to really try and strike that balance, specifically over the holiday season? Because now you've got the time to be with your kids. Yes. So, you know, and hopefully, yeah, some people have the time. Some yeah. people are still working, so they're still trying to balance that stuff out. But I think it starts with us, first of all, and it always does, is we've got to think, well, how are we managing our own screen time? Yeah. Because, of course, if our kids are seeing us on our phones 24-7 and we're going, guys, get off the screens while we're staring at our phones, yeah. we're not really setting a great example about things. So we've got to think about that, first of all. Okay. And then we've got to think about doing it consciously. So I always think it's great to collaborate with our kids and go, you know, it's holiday time. We know you want to have some a, mm. a bit more screen time than you normally would. Let's think about it. How much is okay? Yeah. So it really is thinking about it. And then also I think it's great to um, think about that we can also get involved in screen time. You know, there's nothing wrong with us actually sitting down, watching a yeah. movie with our kids, yeah. as opposed to just sticking, sticking the pressing yeah. play and leaving them to it. Yeah, yeah. It's an absolutely amazing opportunity for us to get them to think critically about what they're watching, yeah. help them um, understand what they're watching, and really think about mm. um, what they're doing on the screen. So even games, you know, for us to actually sit down and play some of our kids' games yeah. that they're playing. I, I love playing games, my boy. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so, awesome. So it really is, you know, being involved, thinking it through, um, yeah. And, and being mindful about what yeah. we're doing and remembering that even though it's holiday time, we can still be in control. Yeah. Look, and the <laughs> last thing you want to do is take away the socializing aspect, you know, of getting outside, you know, interacting with other children and people as well, and also the playing aspect, you know, the imaginative playing as well, which is which is very, very important. So, Laura, thank you very much. We are going to be talking with Laura a little bit later on, and, uh, you know, we are also need to embracing technology. That is what we'll be addressing a little bit later on with Laura in our parenting segment. Stick around for that.